Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. I'm Victoria Corva, you can call me V, and today I am continuing my beautiful, peaceful, escapist journey into East Shade. Um, hello to Rowan and Kyrivo and Sam and Calmly Enveloped and Tepharax. Oh my goodness, hello! Uh, so last uh last stream a uh, stream for east shade um we finally got like a, a a zip line uh thing that let us zip up here to this tree house i've been eyeing since the beginning of the game and we now have a raft so we can boat around so the island has really opened up oh hello nine tailed dragon it's lovely to see you as well um oh i'm so excited there's so many people here today i feel like it's, for some reason everyone's awake <gasps> canvas materials we can use these to make more cats this is very important now we can zip line into an to new places which is just extremely exciting we have a look at what quests we have left to do we to fish we still can't fish yet um i haven't finished getting all of the Uh, I haven't got to the laptop of the tower yet. I haven't done all of the hot springs yet. I think I've done four? I've done three or four hot springs. I haven't encountered the shares yet. And the architect of Lindo is still glitched for me, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to complete that. But we're going to give it a go. Oh, there is a bot in chat. Hang on, give me a sec. Let me just delete that. Please get out forever. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back down to the ground. Oh, we're correct to making lunch, that's totally fine. Oh this is loud. Alright, let's go get to some land we've never got to before via via floating uh like cotton wool boat. I'm very excited. I definitely think Rowan I'm gonna paint a lot of cats today and I'm very excited about it. Rowan says I can totally picture your avatar snatching the materials up and cradling, cradling them to their chest. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think that's exactly what I would be doing. Um, where's my boat? Now when I put it in, I'm gonna have to be careful. Because it will it will float away from me. Okay. Here we go. We're crossing water. Alright, how do I how do I get off? The water is too deep to dismount. Hmm. Okay, it the current is a little bit of a problem. I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than it's turning out to be. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's practically on land. Okay, I'm going back. Where do you... Where do I just... <laughs> is this shallow enough? Okay, that is shallow enough. Let's try and find somewhere a bit shallower to cross. Oh, I'm so excited. Tefrax says, messing about on the river stream? Absolutely. And I tell Dragon says, the raft is pleasingly blobular. Yeah, it's made of these, uh, what are they? They're called like, uh, they're these like giant cotton wool like plants. And it bloom something sacks, I think, which doesn't sound incredibly pleasant, but they're very cute. Okay, so that's how I got into the tree house. I want to find a way to raft down this river where I can get, I can get onto a different bit of land. Well, that's the bridge to, so we've been over there. So how do I get to, to this side? I'm just going to follow the raft down to the beach is what I'm going to do. Let's find my raft. I, I do not know what I am doing. 
but you know, how much do you really need to know what you're doing when you're just floating, <laughs> just floating in the water with no paddle? I'm sure nothing can go too wrong. Oh, did the rafts take damage? I really hope not. Rowan says apparently your avatar is a cat and I'm willing to risk getting damp. Yeah, clearly. I mean, I do think my my character must be an animal person. So the question is, what kind of animal person? Hello and welcome, Story Dragon. Oh, it's lovely to have so many people here today. Um, I've been quite high anxiety this week. And honestly, I am very ready uh, to just escape for an hour and a half in the beautiful land of East Shade. Sam says, honestly, I hope you never really have to know what you're doing, otherwise I'm in trouble. Yeah. Alright, let's... The water is too deep to dismount. Well, What happens if I get, like, forever stuck? <laughs> I feel like there's a, a real risk. Okay, so this didn't lead me anywhere. I'll find somewhere. There's like a little island I think that you can probably raft to. So I should give that a go. Sam says, hello anxiety my old friend. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> I hope nobody minds the extremely slow pace of this raft. I mean it is just a bunch of plants stuck together so it's kind of understandable that it doesn't move with any real speed. Ninetail Dragon says, you know what's really fun? Getting anxious about all the things your anxiety is keeping you from doing. At least I assume it must be fun. Why else would I keep doing it? Oh, I you have all of my sympathy and I completely understand. Um. <laughs> Sam says the extremely slow pace is why I'm here, V. I think we can all use a bit of slowing down and chilling out. Well, hope so. Yeah, I hope better times are coming, Ninetailed. They usually do, it's just when, unfortunately. Ugh. This is very beautiful. Rowan is rooting for cats, though. We might not find a lot of cats in the stream. I mean, I think I've got, like, five cats I still have to paint. So... There's many, there's definitely more cats to find in the rest of the island we haven't been to yet, I, I believe. Neowolf, hello and welcome! Neowolf says each shade is definitely the right place to be right now, even though just virtually. Yeah, that's very much my feeling right now. <laughs> oh, ooh, excuse me. Ninetail Dragon says, this is sort of how these streams go, isn't it? Entire chat is super chill. Yes, this is a very chill chat for which I am very grateful. Hello and welcome, Srillic. Sam says, that's a good question, V. When are you going to paint Merlin? <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, Merlin is not in East Shade. Although I like to think that the ginger cat we found on the fountain could be Merlin. Um... Ninetail Dragon says V often considerably less chill, which is an interesting contrast. <laughs> yeah, everyone always says, oh, your streams are so chill. I'm like, that's everyone else's doing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm an infamously unchill person. <laughs> Uh, can I get out over here or is this foolish? I'm just gonna keep going. I'm loving the the sounds of the... I, I wanted to say stream, but I suppose it's probably meant to be a river, but if it's a river, it's very slow moving. It's not a stream, is it? It's too big. What defines a stream versus a river? I'm curious. Is it just size? I feel like someone will know. 
Tommy and Philip says, I mean, photos are a sort of painting piece, so we could always have some pictures taken digitally. I'll post some Merlin pictures today, okay? Or soon at least. <laughs> I understand the need for more Merlin. Okay, can I get out here? No. All right, we're continuing upstream. The current is getting quite hard to, res to fight back against, but we're gonna do it. Uh, Sam says creek. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Isn't a creek just a stream? I don't know what a creek is. It's really like there'd be a creek here in Arkansas. <laughs> um, Sam says I don't know about the difference between stream and river. Yeah, see, I. Where's the difference? Nine Tail Dragon says I looked up stream in the dictionary and it says a small river. So there you go, a small river. Okay, well then what's what's the cutoff point? I, I want to vote. We'll decide whether this is a river or a stream by a vote. Do you think this is a river or a stream that we're in right now? Rowan says there's no technical definition. There you go. We'll we'll define this particular one. Mia will says creek equals a small river. Stream equals a fast creek. Interesting. Okay, we're almost back to where I can get out. It's good. Nine Tail Dragon says it's a screamer. <laughs> I should have known better than to expect an actual, <laughs> an actual clear cut decision. <laughs> Srilik says I have definitely seen rivers in the west that were smaller than creeks here in the east south. Interesting. Sam says I'm going to be the non-binary troll and say that it is both. Nigel Dragon and Sam both getting in here with Don't You Make Me Choose. <laughs> Which, you know, is a big mood. <laughs> so, like, the Screever sounds absolutely horrifying. Oh, now I think about it. In Skyrim, are the giant rats Screev- No, they're Skeevers. But that does remind me of That does remind me of that. Okay. That hasn't worked, but we can stay out at night. Let's, let's, wait, how late is it? I should go to the abandoned tower and see if finally, finally the architect of Lindo will be there. Because I keep trying to find the architect of Lindo. Oh, the water foxes, everyone, look. Isn't it beautiful? Love you. <laughs> Anytime you see a very cute animal that doesn't run away from you, you have to say I love you. That's just the law of nature. <laughs> and didn't we get enough money? Oh, that's only 20 so far. I'm thinking we might... Oh, that's a thistle. I'll never pick a thistle again. The owls need that to rub their beaks on. <laughs> Nine Tail Dragon says, there you go, it's a river that comes with rat friends. I have a bike! Hang on. I have a bike. Oh, yeah. Uh... Sam says, I just remember one of my favorite... I can't see all of the chat at once at the moment, sorry. Uh, one of my favorite memes is a post saying, are you a finger guns or a thumbs uh, kinds of bisexual, followed immediately with a post of, I regret trying to make a bunch of bisexuals choose. I should have known better. I've seen that and I love it. Yeah, it's so funny. Srilik <laughs> says, a river that comes with rat friends does not sound chill at all. <laughs> Rowan says, since there's no technical definition, it's not an absolute. But you wouldn't have two rivers joined to make a stream, and you could have two streams joined to make a river. Oh, interesting. This bike is so good. It's so impractically good. Yeah, Ninetale Dragon, the tiny blue fox is a, a water fox. They're so lovely. We we rescued them earlier in the game. They were unwell. Um Right, that's the tower. 
Oh, there's one of the magical rats. Come back, rat. These rats have like runes on them, like in Hilda. They're so, it's, oh, it's disappearing into the distance. I'm obsessed with them. Um. Tiferet says you wouldn't want owl friends to have itchy nose mouths, right? Exactly. I'm struggling to keep up with chat right now, so I apologize if I miss anyone's comments, but I'm having a lovely time. It's so good to see everyone chatting. All right, hang on. Let me get off my bike. Uh, I'll put it in my bag just to make sure I don't lose it. Hopefully, the architect of Lindo is actually up the tower as they're supposed to be. <gasps> Who are you? How did you get in? Hi! Ingolf let me in. I presume the old man told you why I'm here? Very posh. Why I've chosen to live in this tower of solitude? I think I understand. You understand? Then, you know what it is to be an outsider your entire life? You've experienced what it is to be known for a birth anomaly? You can't possibly understand. Look at my face. It makes children cry. Before I left, I was the subject of chronic nightmares for one child. Her father showed her a new route to school so she could avoid passing me. That's horrendous. Estranged from all others in this tower, I am an outsider. But living in the town, I am an outsider all the same. At least here in my tower, I won't fuel the nightmares of children. I dedicated my life to becoming a great architect. For half a century, I labored at this. I built the city they live in. And how do the people of Lindau know me? I am the disfigured architect. The townspeople don't appreciate what I've done. They dwell in the marvel of my life's work. Okay, I did not notice. Uh, I did not actually understand because I thought that he disappeared talking to Ingov. I mean, I just thought he disappeared for other reasons. I hadn't realized it was because he's been mistreated because of how he looks. You have a bad personality? I'm not going to say that. Someone wrote a book about you. Really? What did it say of me? It's not mainly about your dis- Oh my goodness, you can be such a horrible person. It's about your accomplishments as an architect. So, someone's finally taken notice of my talent? Well, that is interesting. That changes everything. It's about time. <laughs> this conversation. It was almost enjoyable. Perhaps I'll see you again. But now, I'm afraid it's late. Or early, I should say. And I don't believe I invited you into my house. You're not... You're not, like, a particularly cheerful or pleasant person, but I have sympathy. Let's see. Samson's don't worry about us. We will keep ourselves entertained. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nine tells us this is as ad guy is very relatable. Yeah. It like many things in this game, it, it does hit home somewhat. Sam says is a lifelong fat person. Yes, actually. For me, I think the reason why I didn't understand is that I didn't, I didn't look at him and think it. I guess maybe perhaps because it was so dark. <laughs> Sam says someone's taken notice of my talent. That's surprising. This changes everything. V when all of us turn up for streams. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my goodness, I should actually keep doing this. <laughs> Almost enjoyable conversation calls. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Truly, I have the best chat. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I need. I still need to find um, where I cross. Let's have a look at the map. Because I need to get the so window. This side of the land I can't get to. But I think I can get to that island. And maybe from that island I can get to the Tiffmore Bluffs. So I should travel to perhaps to Mudwillers River and see where I can get to from there. Okay, this is my current goal. Yes, give me all of this. Sometimes a random treehouse person will give me money for the random plants I collect. And I appreciate that. Oh, bike. I keep forgetting I can travel at such incredible speeds on my wooden bike. Let's go! Call me about says I got a physical version of Kin yesterday. Can recommend. Oh, thank you. Kin being my TTRPG. Thank you so much. Ninetail Dragon says, was that a hammock strung up by the side of the road? Yes! During the day, we have a friend, uh, an owl person, who um, reads there. And um, you can you can bring him feathers and he'll, he'll give you a little bit of money in exchange. Sam says, I keep forgetting I could go at such speeds using my bike, laughs in touch. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, let's get to Mud Willows Mirror. I know I get lost almost every time I try to get to Mud Willows, but this time will be different. <laughs> Ninetailed says I very, very much want to play Kin. Aww. I'm very excited that at the moment I get to be a player in someone else's Kin game. We're just playing by post on the forums. So it moves very slowly. But I, I didn't really think I would get a chance to be a player. It's brilliant and, and, and surreal because someone else is building a world slightly different than the world that I kind of envisioned. And I, I love that, <laughs> honestly. Okay. There's our lovely friend in the balloon, but we do not need the balloon right now. the mountains oh okay this is good that's the woman who's sweeping the grass so kinky apothecary i think we must be pretty near oh my bike when you look at your map you jump off your bike Oh, you could, you could read a map, well, on a bike, I feel certain. Ninetail Dragon says, my problem is that I always get stuck GMing. Yes, this is, I mean, one of the reasons I'm very excited to be in the game, other than it being a game that I made, is simply that I almost never get to be a player. Um, and you know, that can be, that can be tiring. I think for some people... Um, their, their greatest joy is taken from being a, a game master and certainly I do take a lot of joy from doing it but sometimes I just want to be a player and only have to worry about one thing <laughs> and not be the creator of the world but instead just be an actor within it and so I, I, I'm sorry that you keep getting stuck GMing uh, okay ooh this looks shallow enough what do you think what do you think okay let me get my bike we can do this we're going somewhere new. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, raft. It, it, I didn't put it far enough out. No, wait, no. Pack. It's 
too deep. Okay, fine. Then I place rocked. Oh, oh my gosh. There we go. I've been wanting to go to this house for so long. The, with the kind of red pink trees. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think I would love to live on like just a tiny a teeny tiny island like this within a larger landmass. Rowan says I much prefer GMing. See, everyone likes different things. For me, I've been GMing games for like a decade now. And I, I miss when I was mostly a player. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Great. Tommy Phelps says I've been a player and a GM and I enjoyed both, but that hasn't been for a while. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this weather. Ooh. This is good. Sinkwood Inn! This is an inn that you have to get to by a raft? I'm just gonna take all of your bloom sacks, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, we're not really taking new visitors. There's been an incident. But with the storm... Well, I'll give you the room we were planning to give the detective. Detective! We're just about full otherwise. Oh. Sounds like there's been trouble here. There's been a theft in one of the rooms. The police are on their way now, though it might take a while. Oh. Don't worry, though. The thief wouldn't dare strike again. Oh, really? What was taken? Some sort of important book. Real valuable, I guess, by the way Mr. Historian is reacting. I don't claim to understand what it does. I just know we can't have any thieves making an escape. Hmm. Any leads on who did it? I guess We've I'm investigating now. This is here. very exciting. It could be just about any one of them. They're all exhausting me. Most of the guests are napping right now, though, so it's nice and quiet for the moment. Look, since we've got this shady business going on here, I'm not going to charge you. You can have a room upstairs. First door on your right. Thank you. At any rate, it looks like you don't have much choice but to stay. The storm is raging out there. What's the story of this old inn? My great-great-grandparents built it as a waypoint for expeditions north and for folks building windmills on the Teethmoor Bluffs. I need to get to the Teethmoor Bluffs. Where it's well past its glory days, and I can't imagine this situation is going to do much to boost its reputation. But it's beautiful. Uh, bye. Are you all suspects? Who are you? You don't look like the authorities. Another suspect? When did you get here? I paddled in a few minutes oh, ago. Oh, sure. Well, watch yourself. There's a thief on the loose, and no one's even trying to catch them. <laughs> Teferact is a highly plot-convenient storm, absolutely. Rowan says the innkeeper did it. Sam says the butler did it. And if there's no butler, I'll respond with C. He's already fled. <laughs> I also think the historian stole his own book, Rowan. I was, that was my first thought, too. So... We're, we're everyone's getting their getting their guesses in. We'll find out. What did they take? In my translation book, it contains rooms that would allow me to enter and learn more about the Tiefmoor ruins. I would like to it's find that. It's highly sensitive and confidential information. I was on my way to the ruins the when the thief made incredible. their move. <laughs> Very few people know about the translation book. Someone must have been following me. Hmm. We'll get to the bottom of this. And the authorities. Delayed by a boating mishap. At this rate, the thief is going to slip away in the night. Alright, thank you for your time. Ooh, a book. The Teethmore Ruins, a simple and spiritual discussion by Helena Mardwood. There are some in Eastshade who hold to the silly notion of finding great witches and antique wonders within the ruins. In reality, however, it is a known fact among native people that the ruins of our ancestors contain nothing of material value. These tombs are home to the ghosts of our ancestors, and traipsing through them in search of fortune or answers to our pasts would deeply dishonour those who walked before us. I have said before and will say again for all eternity, 
Aside from the resting spirits, there is absolutely nothing within the Teethmore ruins that would impress a modern East Shadian. Ooh. Hi, I'm Amir. You are going to crack this case, <laughs> right? Case. My girlfriend and I were supposed to play a show tonight. Oh, this is horrible. Ooh. What's going on in chat right now? Teferak says, is it purely co coincidence the raft showed up and books started going missing? Teferax, don't you lay this blame on me! I I would only borrow the book. <laughs> oh sorry, links get deleted here. Um you can you can private message each other. You should be able to private message each other though, with links. <sighs> Basically if it says dot anything, um it, it filters it. It only happen it should only be happening in my stream rather than other streams, because I have that set up to avoid problems with bots. So I'm very sorry about that. I know it's inconvenient. Uh, I need some leads first. I don't know if this will help, but there was someone down on the beach late last night. I couldn't sleep, so I was looking out of my window at the lake, searching for inspiration. But yeah, someone was down there. Could you see who it was? I couldn't tell. They seemed like they might be tall maybe but certainly mysterious which room is yours again just past the innkeeper's counter you can go in the doors unlocked we figured since we don't have any interesting books we're probably safe from the thief hmm seen anything strange that businessman Vadim he's pretty strange obsessed with money he's given me several nasty looks and the woman over in the corner. Belinda? She keeps giggling at everyone. Maybe she's just nervous. Uh, Teethmore Ruins? They're a point of controversy around here. Some people want them open to the public, and some people think they're a sacred space. I'm having space. a really good time. I understand that the ancient people wouldn't have wanted us to disturb their tomb, but it would have been pretty neat to play a show in there. <laughs> That's all. I really, I really love being like, I want us to do this like, um, Poirot style. We just interview everyone, think for a bit, and then know who did it. Ooh, candles. I'll, t I'll be taking those. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Teferak says this thief has very good taste. Hello, detective. My name's Belinda, and I'm an open book, I tell you. Any questions you have, I'm completely ready to answer. I don't have a single thing to hide. I mean, that is a really suspicious opening. Mm. <laughs> the only suspicious thing I've seen is that historian. He's been running into our rooms, snatching up our things and dragging them around for others to inspect. It makes you wonder if he isn't trying to cover something up. Madame Libertine, yes, the owl lady. There's there's loads of owl people in here and it's fantastic. Why are you visiting? My sister and I are taking a relaxing vacation. She hardly gets out of the house anymore. And I thought the fresh air out here would do her some good. <laughs> Sam says, say innkeep, have you uh, noticed that the person investigating the theft is stealing candles out in the open? Look. I, my payment rates are very low. Just candles and any old wooden crates and fabric you leave lying around. <laughs> oh. What's her illness? Knees, thighs, toes. A continual upset stomach. <laughs> old age, you might say. Hmm. Have you noticed anything odd? I have. It seems that Miss Helena is unwell. I've seen her looking very sick and tired as she moves about the inn. You'll see. Something's wrong with her. Hmm. Thank you. What a mess this is. Okay, we've already... Ooh! Saving the ruins, but not the spirits within them. Reported by Esther Clearwell. 
The Tithmore ruins gained new protections today following concerns of disturbance to sacred land. The new law mandates that the historical ruins cannot be used for profit if an ancient relic is found within the site. However, a pre-existing law states that if any relic, ancient relics are found on a historical site, scientists will be given free reign over the land in order to conduct a full study and record the findings for posterity. Unfortunately, this does little to protect the native inhabitants who believe the sacred ruins should not be entered by anyone for any reason. Activists have loudly stated that there is nothing of interest within the ruins, but only time will tell if this is true and whether science or business will be taking over the bluffs. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Hello and welcome, Wing the Ultimate Nug. Wing says, I mean, if they wanted to keep the candles, then why didn't they glue it, glue it to the candle stand? Completely, under completely true. <laughs> Nine-tailed dragon says, I will solve all the crimes. In return, I have certain requirements. <laughs> Deferex's V's reign of candle theft is waxing again. Oh, first to pun, I think, this stream. I think that's first to pun. Reserved for Radmilla Belinda. Okay. I must take, you must allow me to take any of your candles that I choose and be permitted to paint your cats tonight. <laughs> uh. Okay. So is this Radmilla? Oh. At the Teethmore Ruins. It doesn't look like you're not going there. Eternal battle of love. Ooh, this is exciting. There's so much to read. They pulled each other close as moonlight washed over them. Surely nothing shall ever part us now, for we have braved through beasts and frozen nights, starvation and drought, yet finally life has brought me back to your arms. Our love shall last forever, but the battles have not ended. Our lives have been foretold in the stars, and this is only the beginning. You can leave now and seek a simpler life, one with riches and comfort, warmth and a soft bed. No one would blame you. He knew that no warmth would be as real as that of her hands, no bed comfortable after sharing the ground with her. All his riches and comfort would be found in her eyes, her stories, her smile. I will go with you. 5941. Someone type that in chat so I can find it later, please. 5941. This is very exciting. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sam. Sam says that sounds like the terms of a contract with the Fae about being able to take the candles and paint a cat. We can check with Calmly Enveloped whether that seems like a legit Fey contract. Wing, I can see that you switched the numbers around. Don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> that that will probably get me later, though. <laughs> okay. Ooh, more. Ancient power of the Teethmore Ruins. Healing magic. Some believe the Teethmore Ruins hold the power to heal all wounds and illness. Why we do not enter the ruins to seek out this power is beyond comprehension. It is trusted by many that simply standing in the presence of the ruins is enough to cure small sicknesses and ease the mind of worry. It is a sad thing that the progeny of the peoples who built these magical places do not see fit to share the wonderful spiritual energy here. They instead lock it away. Could it be that they want the power only for themselves? Alas, we must respect their wishes and only wonder at the amazing energy still sealed within the walls of the ruined tombs. I want to go to these ruins so bad. Um, this woman seems to have, she's unwell, and she has a secret code, and lots of information that makes it seem like she wants to go to the ruins. Oh no, that belongs to Belinda though, doesn't it? Mmm. They're a couple. Ah, so you finally made it, detective. Oh, that's her mother. I was hoping you'd be delayed, so we could have more excitement. Uh, you're enjoying this? Of course. My sister Belinda dragged me here all of a sudden sister. for a quiet retreat. I'm not keeping track for <laughs> But I don't much like quietly retreating. I'd rather have the suspense of a conniving thief in our midst. <laughs> I'm not going to ask about these yet. I want to find out other things. See anything strange? No, I'm trapped in this bed. There's nothing at all to see here. But I did hear a young girl pacing outside my door before the theft. She seemed very flustered. I called her inside and we talked a bit about books. She was a student at the university. Suddenly she said she needed to go. <laughs> what a sad girl. 
Thank you. That's all for now. This is interesting. Okay, okay. Mewal says I'm surprised it's not 0451. Wait, what is this a reference to? This number is pinging something in my brain, but it might just be that it's like a, a I've seen someone reference it before. Hang on. Riley and Amir. I'll just take that candle. Are you the authorities? Do you paint the crime scene to help find clues? Ooh. I'm looking into the case. Okay. Well, my boyfriend and I really need to get off this lake. We're supposed to be playing a show in Narva tonight, but the innkeeper won't let anyone leave. I'm sorry to hear that. It's so frustrating. We've never played anywhere important, and the one chance we get. This has to happen. What do you know about the theft? A book was stolen. It must contain the meaning of life, because I can't see any other reason it would be such a big deal. Did you see anything suspicious? We got here yesterday afternoon. We ate dinner, played some music, and went to bed. I heard some scuffling in the middle of the night, but I just thought it was rats. Ugh, they're everywhere. The Teethmore ruins? It's such a bad situation. The indigenous people just want the land to stay sacred. All they ask is that no one goes in the ruins. But the university is constantly sending people over to investigate. They want to extract the artifacts. And there's this new law that says if the scientists can't find any ancient relics in the ruins, then the ruins aren't historically important, and so don't get any protections. That means the sacred space could be dishonored by random hikers. I mean, of course the scientists won't find any relics. They aren't even allowed inside. So the land is really in peril right now. It's just a mess. It really is complicated. Thank you. Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? All right. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> um, people are saying 0451 is a reference to lots of games. Sam says, like, looking glass games like Bioshock, System Shock, and Thief. Oh, okay. I wonder if I saw it in Thief. I've played a lot of Thief games. <laughs> Let's see. Nine says this whole dra situation sounds very British Empire. Yeah, it really does. Helena. Helena's door is locked. Reserved for detective. Interesting. Do they have any candles? Thank you. I can sleep in their bed. Oh, I'm getting the detective's room, aren't I? I can't go into Vadim's room. I can't go into Historian Omiras' room. Can't go in there. Maybe I should ask about the numbers. What a mess th Hang on. Let's go outside and see if anyone's outside in the rain. I mean, it seems unlikely, given the extreme weather, but you never know. <gasps> she- Freight? Okay. No people, but I did find some, like, soggy crates, which I feel like will be very useful to me. I'm gonna have to go and ask about the numbers and the, um, portrait now. I think it was in here. Oh, I can ask Belinda as well. Okay. 
Hello again, detective. What's the dirt? <laughs> the number code in your book? You skipped to the last page? Don't spoil the ending for me. Hmm. The businessman Vadim gave me that book Ooh. last night. I haven't finished it yet, and I don't know anything about those numbers. They better not be important to the story. <laughs> Nine misidentified the sheep as a capybara. Amazing. Let's see. The ruins painting? Yes. My husband and I used to go on dates at the ruins. The night sky and the fresh air, all surrounded by the history of the island. It's a very romantic spot, you know. Okay. How do I find Badir? Because I can't get into his room. <sighs> I've just been sitting here quietly. Not a toe out of line on my part. Why are you like this? <laughs> so suspicious. Magical powers? Well, who knows, really? We can't get in there to find out. But it's nice to dream. My sister loved hiking and traveling more than anything. Now she can only travel in her books. Sam says I do like how delightfully low stakes this game and it's very refreshing. Yes, yes. One of the really compelling things about it. Uh, hmm. Not sure. I feel like I need to get into some more rooms. They're all locked. Do we have any more options? We need clues, leads, anything to move this case along. Tell me about the Tiefmoor Ruins. The ruins are an incredibly rich source of culture and heritage for the people of Eastshade. I believe that within the ruins there are relics that would help us understand our beginnings on this island. But somehow, there are people who think history is a waste of time, and they've thwarted my efforts of discovery at every turn. Hmm. What a mess this is. Hmm. What do you know about the Tiefmoor ruins? Just about everyone in this area has an opinion on them. Indigenous people think no one should even look at them. Most everyone else just wants to see what's inside. I had a pal who snuck inside when we were kids. She wouldn't tell me what she saw in there, though. Kind of doubt she actually did it. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I just need to go to sleep and see what happens in the morning. Maybe there'll be more people around. What time is it? It is quite morning already. I'll give it a few hours. This is so good. Rowan says, I don't think the historian has quite captured the whole story there. No, there's, there's a lot of people hiding stuff, I think. Tuffrax says, I finished watching Laid Back Camp recently, and that was also incredibly good at low stakes peril. I've never heard of that. An anime about a school camping club. Oh, that sounds great. Alright, Badim's door is still locked. Still storming. No one new has appeared. What a man. Hmm. Only I could find something that. I'm supposed to use. Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? All right. I, I don't know what to do if I can't get into these other rooms. I need to speak to Vadim. That's where some of the evidence is pointing. It's storming, so I can't leave. Did you figure it? I mean, I've spoken to all them about all of that, so I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. 
I live it a bit more time. Let's go right before the eclipse. It'll be fun. <laughs> Ninetale Dragon says, I'm very much here for the grumpy bear at the front desk. Is there anyone you can ask to be let into more rooms? Is calling about. Well, that's what I was wondering, but the innkeeper doesn't seem to, like, have any other options. I'm kind of just hoping that at a different time of day, more people might appear, but that doesn't seem to be occurring. What a mess this. I'm gonna ask any suspects again. Not exactly. Well, there was this university student. Mm -hmm. Strange thing. She arrived around noon, coming from Narva. A few hours later, the historian arrived, followed by Helena and that businessman, Vadim. Mm -hmm. The student went off to her room. I figured she wanted an early start in the morning. Then she came out a little after sunset, bags all packed, telling me she had to leave and take care of an emergency. I felt bad for her having to leave in the night like that. Mm. I mean, I've read... I think I've picked everything up. I haven't seen anywhere to enter that number. And I couldn't ask her sister about it. Am I supposed to try and leave and find the student or? Feeling a little bit lost. We need any new no, you haven't got anything. It's too stormy to leave and it won't let me pick up my raft. No, please, let me I get that it's too stormy to- just let me pick it up, I beg you. No. Okay, let's hope that doesn't float away or we're trapped here forever. Oh no. Uh, if anyone who has played this game before has any hints, I think I would appreciate that. There's an important piece of evidence outside. Thank you, Tefrax. Tefrax is already on it. Okay. Well, not the shovel. I must admit, when I was outside last time, I was basically just picking picking once. Crates. Oh my goodness. Teethmore ruins property deed of sale. The seller also agrees to make a public and solemn declaration that they have personally entered the ruins and determined them to be completely empty and void of sacred importance. Blue Rose Industries will conduct an archaeological study to confirm these statements. With compliance to these standards, the seller agrees to the set payment of 2,000 glowstones for the complete property and rights to all explorations of the Teethmore ruins in any manner Blue Rose Industries sees fit. Please sign below. Oh no. So whose was that? They've just left on the docks. Hopefully that's progressed the plot enough to add more people. Let's go inside. Sam says, Doggo says hello. Aw. I know you'll have this sorted out in no time. Mm. You know I'm not the detective. Oh, right. Well, anyway, I'm sure you'll find the culprit. <laughs> Thanks. As soon as the criminal still hasn't been found, I've taken the liberty of locking everyone's boat ashore. Shouldn't be traveling in the storm anyway. 
Mm-hmm. Why don't you take these keys and continue investigation yes. of the suspects in their rooms? Thank you. I can't ask you about the, that suspicious paper yet. Ooh, we're progressing! Oh. Ah, good. You finally arrived to sort this out. Check through my suitcase and I'll be on my way, detective. Mm. No one's leaving until we find the thief. Good gods, this is truly obscene. The historian likely dropped the book in the lake himself. You've seen how his hands shake. Um. And now he's trying to frame one of us. Hmm. Notice anything strange? That historian! He's a madman! He tore through our rooms this morning, screaming about his wretched book. Uh, nine-tailed, a glowstone, 80 glowstones is a bike. 60 glowstones is a warm coat. <laughs> um, yeah, a cup of tea is two glowstones. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. <laughs> 2,000 does seem cheap. Hi, Marlin. Marlin's on the desk now. Hi, Marlin. How's it going, my boy? That would be my cat. Oh, uh, Melena Me Aura followed. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're having a lovely day. Feel free to say hi or not, as you please. Neil says 500 glowstones as a part of sealant. Too true. <laughs> Nineteld says, so the value of a glowstone is inconsistent. Definitely. So about the numbers in the romance novel. Numbers? I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. I picked up that book in a small market last week. It wasn't my cup of tea, so I gave it to Rad Miller. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the Teeth Moor Ruins. A wasted opportunity at the moment. That's very suspicious. Who doesn't love the idea of visiting a tomb thousands of years old? Who wouldn't love the sense of discovery and heritage? Who wouldn't pay dozens and dozens? Dozens of glowstones mm. for that kind of experience. I'm going to bring that dream to life. I promise you that. So it's so it's you. <laughs> uh, that's all for now. You don't look like any detective I've ever seen. Hi, Helen. I won't be answering your questions. Uh. All right. Well, I'm going in your room. So. And I'm taking your fabric. My dearest family, I've thought a lot about our dedication to preserving the sanctity of the ruins. It has meant so much to me that you've all stood by my side in this battle. It pains me to write that my health is declining, there is little to be done, but with any luck, there may be a treatment available in Narva. I only hope that, and then it's smudged. Mmm, potential person for the healing powers as well. Muddy boots! Runes. Uh, such as runes such as are in the magical his- historical book. Hi, Mel. Mel's watching the chat scroll. He's really enjoying it. Tephrax is like, I like her. Oh, so you think you're the protagonist energy? Yeah. <laughs> healing powers is calling Bell. Yeah, we read in a book that people c- believe there might be healing powers in the ruin. Let's see. That's my room. Vadim's room. Oh, the number! These aren't numbers. I... Hmm. What if I just make them all blank? Hang on. No, go back. Go back. Okay, so the number was, is it five, four, or nine? Scrolling back. Five, nine, four, one. That's at zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, oh no, oh, does it move both each time? No, I've accidentally clicked in the middle. Hang on. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five. Let me get this back to blank. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
four. One, two, three, four. And one. Ooh! -hoo -hoo! Okay. V! That's my name. <laughs> I was digging around near those old ruins you're so obsessed with. Found this thing that looks an awful lot like an ancient relic. Thought you might want to keep it safe till you officially own the property. Hope you can come up with a few extra glowstones for me in exchange. Oh. I want to pick it up. I want to take it. That's awful. We need to reveal this. Oh, Miros' room. Burned some paper recently. Merlin, stop grabbing me. I'm really sorry, buddy. Oh, Miros, please take this letter as a formal notice of dismissal from your position at the university. We appreciate your hard work through the decades. However, time has proven that there is no new information to discover regarding the Teethmoor ruins, and unfortunately, the university can no longer fund the program. My sincerest regards, guards, RT Dean. <laughs> Excuse me, that's hiccup. Um, that is very suspicious. I don't know who's stolen the book, but I know we need to stop the Dean. While on the earth root, for temporary treatments of nerves, forgetfulness, and shaky hands, no more than two drops a day. Um, I'm loving Sam putting all the numbers in. Uh, oh, people were giving me advice about how to do the numbers and I missed it, but thank you very much. Hmm. All right, it's time to talk to people. I don't think you're a real detective at all. Hi, Helena. I have some questions. About the glyphs. That's an old poem from the native people on the Teethmoor Bluffs. I keep it with me as a reminder to always be thankful. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Teethmoor ruins. Those ruins mean everything to me. All I've ever wanted is to preserve that sacred ground. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything strange? Yes, I have. Those musicians have been desperate to get out of here since the moment the book went missing. They've been singing all kinds of obnoxious songs about this situation. Annoying fiends. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure they're not the ones. But Dean, you were standing on the table briefly. Have you any progress? Yeah, it was you, it was you what done it. Um, I can't, I can't bring up that yet. I assume that's the evidence that I need. Um. Look, we've already searched everyone's trunks. The book isn't here. Thief's got it hidden somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But maybe if you take a look, you'll find something that points to the killer. I, I, I mean, the thief. <laughs> I'd better take a look. Glyphs? What? You found this here? Why, I, I can't fully translate it. But I think this is describing a poem about cattle. Uh, or about gold. Uh, I need my translation book. Mm -hmm. Medication? Why are you searching through my things? I only opened my trunk so the suspects would feel more comfortable opening theirs. Surely I can't be a suspect in this crime. That medication is my private business. Mm hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Letter of dismissal? Ahem. I would appreciate if you mind my privacy. I am the victim here, after all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true I'm being let go from my position Marlin. at the university, but this is my life's work we're talking about. I can't just abandon this when I'm so close to finding all the answers. But really, detective, this is a waste of time. You should be investigating the actual suspects. I'm being very distracted by Mullen right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi. I'm not really sure what's going on. Are you the young person who left? I heard you packed up pretty quickly last night. Oh, right. There was an emergency. But don't worry. Everything's your, okay now. I love your green tunic. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Uh, why did you leave so suddenly yesterday? Oh, right. There was an emergency. But don't worry. Everything's okay now. Mm-hmm. I think I just did that exactly twice. Uh, I'll need to inspect your trunk. Oh, um, are you sure it's necessary? Absolutely. Okay. It's just on the ground. 
Aha, good news. The real detective has arrived. Property of Nicole. I can't believe this is the last time I'll ever set foot in these ruins. I know Auntie H would never sell the land for tourism, but she doesn't look well lately and I'm worried about her. The least I can do is ensure the land stays in our family. I've been sneaking out small relics to study in secret, but now it's too dangerous. Auntie H never wanted the ruins swarmed with archaeologists, and that's what would happen if the university found out what's really in here. She always said our ancestors' spirits lived down here, and in the cool silence I can almost believe it. It really is a sacred place. Can I help? Uh, your journal? Uh, okay. You caught me, all right? I know how to get into the ruins, and I've been going in there for years. Is that what you want to know? So yes, it was me. What about the translation book? Translation book? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm Mm-hmm. A book related to the ruins was stolen. I... Oh, gosh. I... I thought you were looking for a trespasser. Uh, who would benefit from access to the ruins? Um, everyone. Except my aunt and my parents who think the ruins need to stay empty for our old spirits. But there aren't any spirits. I've been in there a hundred times. Did you steal the treasures in your suitcase? I didn't steal them. They belong to my ancestors. Hmm. Where are you going now? I just wanted to bring home one last reminder of the ruins. <laughs> I was ruins. watching the stream I was on my other to screen. them like my aunt always has. Okay, wait here. I can't see chat. Merlin is sitting in front of chat. I'm sure you're all being really wonderful. <laughs> Let me try and bring it up on my phone. Oh, the bear puns, I see. It's time for bear puns. Uh, Hello, detective. To you, detective. Sorry, it took me so long to get here. The innkeeper just filled me in on the situation. Mm. It seems like you've been doing good work here. Do you have a prime suspect? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Uh... I don't think it's Red Miller, I don't think it's the student, the innkeeper, or the historian. None of these people. I think it's Vadim, right? But then Helena has... Wait, let me think. Helena has the runes, right? Okay, here's a room I haven't been in. The innkeeper's room. Okay. Sinkwood in property deed of sale. Kevork agrees to sell the Sinkwood Inn to Blue Rose Industries for the complete price of 1,000 glowstones. The sale includes the building grounds and business. Any employees remaining at the inn will be employees of Blue Rose Industries and subject to salary negotiations. Maybe it's the innkeeper at this stage. Svadim is definitely trying to get access to the ruins, but I don't know that he would need the book. What a mess this is. He must is. Have be buying it from Helena. Selling the inn? I'm thinking about it. This place is empty most of the time. Oh, I'm Tourism so curious. On the teeth what, do, what, do you, what does what everyone think? Was. When the milling industry is not fancy and upcoming like before. Got that letter in the mail just a few days ago. Seems like my ticket out of here. This place gets a little too gloomy for me. Hmm. Then you don't... Why would you steal the book? Have you any- I can't ask you about any of the things I'm concerned about. Why is the historian missing suddenly? Well, has the culprit made any mistakes? Okay. She decided to go stand out in the rain. Do people think it must be the theme? Sam says I think you did it, but it wasn't me, I promise. I, I am very interested in the book, but it wasn't me. Tefrax says I think the innkeeper is using controlled substances. You'll need to take an earth sign test. Oh no. Hariva says Nicole wants to get rid of the ruins because her aunt is in such bad health. You think it's... But then why does she need the book? Still the treasures, so she should be able to sell it. Because the the book that was stolen 
is not about we're being led off the path the real crime that is going on is that the ruins are being sold to Vadim but th we're trying to investigate the book that went missing and who took it Rowan says the historian fled he knows you're onto him it appears not I'm gonna say Vadim. It seems like you've been doing good or work. Or Helena. Here. Yes. Helena has the the. I think Helena took the book. Wait, none of these people? No. Okay. Yeah, none of these people. I think Helena took the book. And is selling it to Vadim. Uh, oh, I'm struggling, Helena. Really? That's very interesting. Let me have a look around and see if I can confirm your suspicions. Please help me, real detective. Looks like you're well on your way to becoming a full-fledged detective. Ooh! Certainly nice to have someone else carry out the interrogations. <laughs> Sad story this is. Looks like Helena was hoping to sell off the land yes. to the tourist industry. Worth quite a lot of money. That's what I thought. Says she was trying to take a final look inside the ruins. That's why she needed the book. Must have been having second thoughts about selling the land. Unfortunately for her, we've now got Mullen solid right evidence that the stream. ruins are filled with ancient relics. No chance of selling the property now. Ownership will most likely default to university. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't reward you for your work. Please, accept these glowstones I'm authorized to award good Samaritans like yourself. And I believe my work here is just about done. Forty glowstones? Wow, I actually solved it. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't see chat right now. Mullen's really in the way. Mullen, can I see chat? I'm trying to lean around him. He doesn't like it at all. Mullen, I'm just trying to lean around you. Eat. <laughs> Don't be intense about it. I'm just trying to see the stream. <laughs> Tefrex is well done. I guessed Vadim when I did it. See, I was just thinking that Vadim is the worst person here, but someone had to have stolen the book for a reason and Vadim had no reason to want the book. But I think it could have been easy to get any of them. Oh, hi, Fixato, and welcome. <laughs> Neowul says, the, the bookcase is sold, but what about the stolen candles? Let's not talk about the stolen candles. Hi, Helena. So, you actually weren't the detective after all. I just had to see if there was anything in the ruins. All my life, I've believed there's nothing but spirits in there. I've started to see that no one else believes that. I can't afford for the land to go to science. Science doesn't pay. Hmm. But my heart couldn't afford for the ruins to be opened as a tourist location. I just thought the translation book might hold some answers for me. Might help me solve this puzzle. Vardim made an offer on the land. He suggested running his own excavation for sacred objects. But really, I knew he would do everything possible <laughs> to destroy the what screen. he found. He likes the flames. <laughs> I took the book and planned to sneak inside the ruins just take a peek. I wouldn't have destroyed anything, and if I found something, I would have reported it to the university right away. Now, the ruins will be opened to the university. We'll just have to see what happens. Hmm. Neil says, why do I want to read an Agatha Christie novel now? This is exactly what I was thinking. This feels very poro. Alright. Well, I think our work here is done. Innkeeper, do you have anything for me? Oh, well. I'm happy to hear there's something of interest in those ruins. Well, I guess Vadim won't want to buy my inn anymore. But maybe I'll get more interest now anyway. Who knows? I just might convert one of these rooms into a ruins museum. Okay, well. Is my boat still there? Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, we never found the book. Did you get given it back while I wasn't looking? Well, after we recover the translation book from Helena... Maybe I can get my position at the university back as well. The ruins have always been important to her. I only hope I can preserve them for future generations. And imagine what we can learn about the past. Eventually, I hope it will be better this way. If we uncover even one artifact, the ruins will be protected forever. No tourists, no names carved in the walls by hooligans, no trash tossed around... Just a bastion of history. On an unrelated note, I saw the... Shall we call it the watercraft you arrived here in? 
Oh. I've drawn up some instructions for you <laughs> on how to build a, a reed, reed boat. boat. They're commonly used around here. No need for whatever that thing is. You also find reed boats quite capable of coastal travel. I can't imagine your contraption there is. You'll need heavy reeds. They're wider and flatter than the usual sort. Best wishes, and, um, sorry for accusing you of taking my translation book. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Uh, good luck. Uh, I can make a reed boat. How do I make it? I'm so excited. Reed boat. I already have what I need! <gasps> Oh, we're gonna go to the Teethmore Bluffs. I can't get onto the. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll go off there. This is very, very exciting. What progress! We're not anywhere near the end of the game. I really thought, like a couple streams ago, we'd finish, but the game keeps getting bigger. This is a really big, really big game, actually. Ooh, read boat. Okay, okay. Wait. So, no, not that one. Uh, so we are on this island at the front. Teethmore Bluffs will be to our right. Ooh. This is very exciting. Nine says, hey, stop being rude about these blobular shape disaster raft. Exactly. Don't be rude about my shape disaster raft. Yeah, I, I really hope nothing actually gets looted from the ruins. I, I It's good to study locations, but it's... I mean, you have people don't want anyone to go in there. I feel like it would be better to leave it empty. <laughs> At least it's not being sold off for profit, I guess. And it is the Anishadian University. The University of Nava. Okay. New location! This is very exciting. We're heading towards the end of the stream, but I'm definitely going to explore a bit before I come off. I'm, I'm so excited. Look, I, look, Tefrax! The, the raft was really good, but it was very slow. Um, and the boat is so quick, and I love it, and it's amazing. <laughs> I can love them both, for different reasons. Fixata says, but V, have more cats been painted? Why would you hurt me this way? You know there haven't been any more cats today. <laughs> Nine says I had the chance to see Stonehenge a few years back and I was surprised just how terrible condition the place is in. Yeah, well Stonehenge is not terribly far from where I live and um, I mean it's uh, people are, are kept very strictly to a path around it because everything is so eroded and, and damaged. Um, it, it, it's a thing, you know? I think it's good for people to be able to come and see part of their history, but tourism also... I mean, there's just so many people now. It's very hard to do in a way that doesn't damage the site. <laughs> Fixata says, there's always time for cats! Oh, if only. Ruins! Is that the abandoned lighthouse? In the distance? Oh. No, it's a different lighthouse. Oh, hoo -hoo. Rowan says, are you illegally picking flowers again? No, I was picking legal flowers. I can pick these. I just can't pick the black thistles. I've learned my lesson. 
Near walls is vandalizing places like Stonehenge is just sad. Yeah. Really is. I mean, I think... I don't know how much Stonehenge has been vandalized. I assume it has happened on occasion. I think just the erosion of so many feet and people walking around it is really causing significant damage. So this is the external part of the ruins. It's very beautiful. But I'm not spending any canvas on something that isn't a cat. Unless I'm going to get paid for it. Wait, am I going to get paid for it? This doesn't show me my... Uh... Oh no, it does show me my... Outstanding... Um... Things. I'm going to have a look at this lighthouse. Or tower. I suppose it doesn't really have any lights on it. <laughs> Sam says V would never pick a black thistle Rowan. What are you talking about? Thank you, Sam. I appreciate the defense. <laughs> I would never pick a black thistle again. Um, <laughs> not a third time. <laughs> Nines is amusingly well. I've been able to infer that I live about an hour or two's drive from where V lives. They and I have never met in dirt space. Yeah, I don't think you- I've- I've inferred a similar thing. I don't think you can live that far away from where I am, but I don't know, maybe we'll- maybe we'll meet uh, in person sometime. Rowan says, are we going into the ruins to loot all the stuff now that we stopped Vadim from doing it? Of course not. But I do want to look. <laughs> I, I don't think we're probably going to get get to see it. Sam says I would come and visit you if that went dangerous and also kind of creepy of me to do. You know, I, I feel like that's one of the good things about like um, conventions and things is that people who live far away from each other um, have a chance to meet each other while also doing other activities and it, it just makes it a friendly event. Although it has to be said, I'm very bad at going to conventions. Um, one, they are expensive, and two, I am terrified of people. <laughs> so I get tired very, very quickly. Um, but it's kind of an ambition of mine that I will one day go to like a place where maybe lots of other people and friends will be. I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll also take that. And I'll also take this. This is the tree I saw from across the river! Like, that's Nava. Oh. Now, in the Teethmore Bluffs, there's meant to be... Um, the shares are meant to be here in, the, in their temple or something. I wonder if we'll get a look at it before I have to come off. Oh, I have hiccups. Eesh. Sada says, reminds me of what I found out that someone I've been chatting with for a while on ISC lived half hour bike cycle, bicycle right away from me across the canal. It happens surprisingly often that people are nearer than you think, but that is very close. <laughs> Nyan says, I can't overstate the value of being able to meet in neutral public location. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's not just like of for safety reasons. It's also, it, it just makes everyone more comfortable. Oh. Look at this garden. Do you think this might be the chaise? It's Tom Thomas Farm. Oh, I'm gonna take all of your fabric and a grave for Asim. Beloved. Is that father? Something and brother. That's for me. That's for me. The farmer was out here, weren't they? 
Maybe, maybe not. They're asleep. Okay, yeah, probably not. The captain's memoir, Clara Stone. Everyone feared I would die on my expedition. I had some sense that this was possible, but no real notion of what death meant. It all felt a bit simi simi similar to me at the time. I could remain in Lindo, feeling utterly drained and deprived of life, or explore the world and take on the risks of capsizing or contracting an undocumented illness. It was not until I grew much older, learned the seas, and met new, eager youngsters that I finally began to understand the dangerous reality of my first mission. I can now see why everyone fretted at my departure. Two of my crewmates passed away on that journey. I returned home after four years, and only stayed for a week before setting sail again. My uncle died just three weeks later. I cherish my adventures even more now for the thought that my uncle suffered so dearly for me to live them. I don't regret the journeys I made, but I'm exceedingly grateful to those who loved me and did their best to ensure my safe return. Is that your uncle's grave? I'm going to take your candle. I can't speak to you because you're asleep. Okay. Well, I think... I think we'll stop here today. Let me just export my paintings a little bit. Um... Everyone, thank you so much for keeping me company today. Um, I hope you'll be safe and well this weekend and have a good time. And uh, I'll see you again next week for Book of Travels on Wednesday and East Shade uh, on Friday. So, take care everyone. <laughs>